All right, you can see here that I copied over the article, recipe, and user. Uh, in here, I'm gonna delete this for now because uh, uh, this is an interesting bit that happens later. So you can see uh, here our type definitions. Uh, I also fixed the name here. There was a typo before. Um, and th this is basically our GraphQL schema. So once you have this, you have the schema for your different types. Uh, that, th that means that you can start making requests. But uh, how GraphQL works is that you need uh, root query type definition that will uh, specify how you enter uh, through GraphQL and how you start making requests. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create new query dot GraphQL. Oops, this type query. And there are a bunch of interactions that I'm interested for because my uh, front-end application depends on those. Uh, we're showing the uh, latest recipe. And so uh, I'm going to do that. Latest recipe is going to be uh, an entry point. And uh, in GraphQL, fields can take arguments. Latest recipe doesn't take any arguments, but it does return a recipe. Um, and uh, it doesn't have to be required because uh, we don't know if there's going to be one. So that's a, a, an interaction that we want to explore through GraphQL. We also uh, want to get uh, or to make available a list of uh, articles by author. Uh, so uh, I'm going to call it that. Articles by author. And in this case, uh, I do need um, an argument, which is the author. And author name is going to be a string that is going to be required. And this is going to return a collection of article. And, oops, oh, sorry, that's muscle memory. And then recipes by author is gonna be very similar. Uh, in this case, it's gonna return recipe. So uh, this is very, this is pretty much it, right? After this, uh, you, uh, you're you done with your type definitions. So um, after this, what you need to do is to start writing what in GraphQL are called resolvers, which means that, okay, when someone requests this, what do I do? What code do I execute? So uh, we would uh, we would do that. And um, that's where what we're gonna see next. Uh, as you can see in Drupal terms, each one of these top level or root fields are kind of like views, or I see it as views. Uh, it is something, it's a presentation that you encode from on the server that matches the what you have on the front end. And that's, uh, that's why GraphQL is uh, very often portrayed as being tightly coupled to the to the front end because you encode the presentation in the in the server, uh, which is fine and it's very it's a very popular way to uh, have a single consumer application like a React app and that's it, right? So uh, in those cases, it's uh, this is a very useful tool. So next, we're gonna see how how we resolve this.